Hey guys, today we'll try to understand uh, one of the important function that has been used uh, in most of the formattings in Excel, wherein you want to format a number or a date. So whichever you date, whichever data you take for analysis, will always have numbers, will always have dates. So that this forms a very integral part. That's why I have kept this formula a bit separate from other formulas. And we'll just talk about this formula today. So what text does is it converts a number, yeah, converts a number to text according to a specified format. So what it does, it converts a number to text according to a specified form. So usually uh, the syntax of text is, is equal to text, then it will take a number. Yeah. So you have to input a number here. So suppose I put number and then you have to specify a format in which you want to see the number. Yeah. So suppose I want to see uh, one as 1.00. So what does this format means? We'll discuss it uh, further. But just for an example right now, so text takes, takes a number as its first syntax and format for that particular number that we want uh, in the second syntax. So these are the two variables which we need to add in the syntax. So as soon as I click enter, you will find one has been converted to the format that we have specified. Yes. Now, the pattern by which uh, it gets formatted is enclosed within quotation always. So you will find here, the pattern of the format is always included in the double quotes that we have specified here. Yeah. Similarly, the format argument to text cannot contain an asterisk. So it will never contain an asterisk. So suppose I want to put an asterisk here. It will give you an error. You cannot put an asterisk in the format syntax. Yes, it will give you an error. It will never contain that. Again, text do not support question mark pattern in Google Sheet. Yeah. So what does text support? So there are there are various formats. Uh, the text formula uh, supports. So in the format, you can specify it as. Uh, a single D, so in format you can specify as single D. So I'll, what do, where do I put it? So I'll put it here. So if I put D, this will format a month to one, one digit. So it will format a month to one digit. Yes, so let me put this date. Suppose I have this date and I want to get the format. So I want to get the day. Day is 10th of February 2024. So if I say is equal to text, we want to format the date over here. I'll say comma. I'll say open brackets. I'll take D as the format. So what D does, it will give me a single digit of the day of this particular date. So as soon as I press enter, it will give me D. Huh? Same way, if it, if you have M, I take the same formula. I can have month. So it's a single digit. If I take year, yeah. So we did D, M, and we'll have YY. So you have y which will give two digits of the year. So again, I'll put is equal to text. 
I'll get the date. Oh shit. I have to add the form format. So it will be by by and it will give me two digits of the year. Yeah. So you understood how the format once you add this format, it will provide me the relevant details as per the formats included. Now there are various things involved in this. Suppose I want to get the day of the month as two digits. Yeah. Suppose this day is uh, 1st of February. Yeah. So this is giving me one digit, right? But I want it in two digits. So there is a format DD. Same formula, I'll just copy it and uh, add, in spite of D, I'll add DD twice, yeah, and I'll say enter, yeah. So you'll get any any day in two digits, whether it be one digit over here or two digits, yeah. Same way for month, if I have month here, again, I'll copy this, I'll have MM, Again, two digits. Yes. Let's try with three Ds. Then we have three Ms. Yeah. Then we have four Ds. We have four M and we have four Y. Yeah. We do not have two Y's and two or three, uh, three Y's. Yeah. So again, we'll try to see what three D does. So I'll put D three times in the format option. So it gives me the day of the date. So first February, 2024 was a Thursday. So let's check the calendar whether it was really that way. So I'll click on the calendar in my uh, settings and you will find the day was Thursday. Yeah. So that we are right here. Let's see what it does to the month. So if I put three M's in spite of two M, it will give me three alphabets of my month. So if it is February, since it is a second month, it is giving me February, but only three starting alphabets of February. Yeah. Let's see what 4D does. So I'll add one more D here. Thursday. So it gives me entire word of that particular day on which the date we have selected. Same for month. It will again show me the entire word of the month, February. Yes. Same way for year, it will show me the entire year, like 2024, if I get four Ys. Clear? So this is how you work around with your date and formatic accord accordingly how you need it. So suppose you want to pull out the day only or only the month of the year or you want it in alphabets. So you can use this to refine your data so that you can bring out analysis. Yeah, there is one more part is 5M. So if you specify M five times, it will only give you the first character. So I'm putting M five times it will give me only the first character of the month. So you see February, it will give it will give me only the first character that is F of February. So the starting letter for that particular month would be shown to you. Clear? So this is how you can use 
text to format your dates. Now, there are various ways in which you can format numbers as well. Yes. So, suppose I just move this a bit here below text. Yeah. Now, suppose I have a number 7.3 or probably anything. 1.1. Yeah. There is a format which is 0 or ash. Now what 0 does yeah it forces a particular number to be shown in the format which is provided in that particular option. So I'll give you an uh, example. So if I say is equal to text and I want to format this number. So if I say 1.1 has to be formatted in a way so that I get two zeros before the decimal dot and two zeros after the decimal. Yes. You'll find it this way. I need to remove this. I'm just scroll on. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. See the formats? Two zeros, that is two digits before the point or decimal or two digits after the decimal. So it had decided the format. So it is giving me 1.1 as 0 0.01.10. Same way, if I increase the zeros, see what happens. If I increase the initial zeros by three and the last zeros by three, here. Yeah. So it gives me in the format which I specified here, the number would be displayed accordingly. Yeah. Suppose I want to show it in the form of a currency. So uh, suppose I want to show 1.1 as a currency. So I'll show, I want one digit and one digit here. Yeah. And I want a dollar sign to be shown before that number so that it displays as a currency. Yeah. So if as soon as I press enter, it will start showing me dollar before this. Now, if I try to change this number and put I had two more decimals to it, like I have made it 1.123. Just check at the changes that will happen over here in the next rows that we have already added the formula. We'll, Find here, 0, 1.12 has remained the same. We have added three decimals where 0, 0, 1.123 has changed to 123. And dollar 1.1 has remained the same because we have kept it as 0, like one number before the decimal and one number after the decimal. So 0 enforces all these numbers before and after. Yeah. So if I do not have anything, if I do not have two digits before the number dot or before the decimal, it will automatically put it as a zero. It will assume it as a zero and it will add a zero before the number. Yeah. Add what has happened in this case where 1.123, the one before the decimal. Yes. You see this one before the decimal we have only one digit, wherein over here we have found two digits because we have formatted the formulas accordingly. Yes. So this is how you can use uh, a number formatting according to the wills and wishes that you have towards changing it. Yes. So uh, suppose now you do not want to enforce the zero. If you do not have uh, a decimal uh, or if you do not have a number before the one and still you want to see to it that uh, 
that it shows this particular format properly, I could use then another format that is called hash. So in spite of zero, I'll use hash. So this is the symbol of hash. So here I'll do this way. You'll find there is a difference. Yeah. Since there is no decimal, there are no two decimals, be uh, two numbers before the decimal, it has automatically checked it and shown you one decimal only, where, wherein this format of 00, zero will see to it that it enforces a zero if there is no number belonging to that place where we need a number. Yeah, since there was no number here, it has automatically added a zero before one, wherein hash will not add a number uh, hash before the uh, number one, but it will keep it blank. Yes, but if I do have a number, it will show that number. Yes, pretty clear. Now there are various ways in which you can uh, use this uh, formulas in your, uh, suppose, uh, what, what should we do? Suppose I want this number is instead of point, 1.123, I want to show it as 1 comma 123. So what I can do is, I'll say again, D2, D23, which has my number, and I will replace this decimal with a comma. Yeah, hope your people are able to see my screen. Yes, so I have replaced it with a comma. I'll just make it my normal size again. Yeah. And I press enter. You'll find it has turned this decimal into comma. Yes. Same thing we can do with, uh, we can work with percentages. Yes. So I have a number called 0 0.06. And I want to show it in the form of percentage. So what I'll do is text the column in which I'll require the text and I'll specify the percentage in which I'll require the text to be or the number to be displayed. You'll find it as 6%. So 0 0.06 is 6% when it is shown in terms of percentages. Yes. Same way if I want to show this way. Uh, 0 0.06, I want to show it in a different way. Okay, let me select that. Okay. I have to select this and say enter. So 6.0 percent because you have not specified anything because there is no zeros after this. So if I put in zero, it will still show me this way. So this is how I can use percentages to my benefits. Yes. Now you can also use the combination of uh, dollar, hash. Yeah. I What I can do is, uh, suppose I have a big number, one, double zero, triple zero, uh, point one two, something like this. So what I can do is, I can use the combination of all above. So I have used the currency sign. I have used ash. I have used the currency sign. I have used ash. I have used the comma. I have used again ash. I have used the decimal again and I have used double zero. So I have used all possible combination which we have played with the numbers on this. So let's see what happens here. So it have added a currency. It has, for this entire number, it has added a comma at a proper place. It has added a decimal and has given me a one, one, two. Zero. Suppose I change the place of the comma after two numbers. So I'll say I place the comma here. Yeah. 
so it will make the changes accordingly yes so this is how you can play along with your numbers to format them uh, according to your according to the things that you want to play with yeah uh, you can one more thing that i want to show you is uh, you can also play with the time of uh, google sheet yes suppose i have this date i have this february as date i just bring it down and convert it to time step so i uh, if you remember how do you add date and time to it so i go to format i'll go to i just reduce the bit uh, okay this is 100 percent sounds good so i'll add this date and time so here i have the time wherein i can specify the r so suppose i specify the r r as 15 uh, minutes as uh, 45 minutes and these are seconds so i say 30 seconds yes now there is formula to fetch this hours month and uh, hours minutes and seconds as well yes how do you do that so th there is a formula which is h yeah if i specify double edge let me do that is equal to this okay as it is equal to text then i'll select the number which i want to format or the date that i have to format i'll say comma and i'll specify h double edge yes and i'll close the double quotes and again close the brackets you will get the r you see this Suppose I want the minutes, I'll just shift it this way. So I'm getting the hours. So H is for double H for is for R for MM. This is for minutes. So I'll copy this again. If I want to get minutes out of the entire date and time. So these are the minutes. So oh sorry. I have, not, I have to specify hours. Uh seconds. Uh, minutes and uh, seconds. So what I have to add is how do I add that? Just give me one minute. Yes. So I add HS just getting F2 here. Yeah. HS here you are. So I get the hours and the minute both. Yes, I get. You can get the second as well. Second is placed by SS. So I specify this. I specify SS, and it will give me the seconds, which is the thirty seconds here. Yes. Now suppose you want to show the hours in a, in a twelve hour format. Yes. If you want to show R in 12 R format, then you need to put it this way. So I guess it is double H in a capital letter. Then I have to put it in some other way. So this is H. And you have to use a combination of AM and PM. Okay, just give me one minute. I'll just check that. Okay, if I put H in a smaller uh, thing, then I need to add A slash P. Let me see if this works. Yes. So it is giving me 3 p.m. 15 hours. You see, 15 hours is 3 p.m. So after 12, 1, 2, 3. So 15 hours is 3 p.m. as you know that. Yeah. So if I put as a.m. and p.m., it will show me p.m. Yes. So if you want to show it in 12 hours format, then it will come in the format of a.m. and p.m. as shown here. Yeah. If you want to show it in 24 hours format, you just need to keep capital letters H which will give you 24 hours form.
Pretty cool. Yes. Great. So this is how you format hours, uh, minutes, seconds. Yeah. You can also have milliseconds. Now milliseconds for milliseconds, you have the formula SS. Yeah, dot or decimal zero, 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 three times. Yeah, it will give you milliseconds. So if you have anything in milliseconds, it will come uh, that way ahead of it. Yes. So these are some form of formats which are available on text and you have to work on them in a combination as in how it is required on your data to be played. Yeah. So that it is very important for you to check which format you want for a specific data according to the analysis that you have to do on your data. Or if you have to clean your data, sometimes it happens that the dates are not in a proper format as you require if you are if you are pulling them from some databases or some terms or from some softwares. Yeah. At times, uh, the date come in a uh, in a text format so you need to convert those texts to uh, to a value and then format it accordingly uh, if you want to add some currency uh, to it or if you want to change the decimal or if you want to change the uh, comma which has to be placed uh, in the numbers in some cases the decimal point has been replaced in some countries. The decimal point is replaced by a comma. So they use comma as a decimal uh, delimiter. Whereas in uh, India or any other, uh, most of the countries, the period is used or a dot is used as a delimiter between decimals and the actual number. Yes. So these are various ways in which you can convert your text to make it more uh, suitable for your analysis and you can come out with a lot of beautiful insights out of it. I hope this helps you a lot in cleaning and formatting your data. Thank you so much.